I want to bring in why not my guest, Daniel Yao Demelevo. He's a former uh, Auditor General. You know him on this, uh, joins us right now. And uh, Dr. Kwame Aselu Sapon is a pharmacist and research fellow at the CDD. And Kwabana Minta Kando is a ranking member on Health Committee of Parliament and MP for Jaboso. And all of them joining me on Zoom. I want to quickly start. Uh, with Daniel Domelevo, who is joining us right now. Uh, Mr. Domelevo, so in the last couple of hours, the finance ministry has a statement. And I want to read to you the essential part of the statement and give me your quick response to that. This is the very latest on this, and I know you've already seen the Auditor General's report. This is what the finance ministry says in the, in, in the statement that had, had come up. It says, the ministry welcomes the Auditor General's report and wishes to assure the public that steps are being taken to address all issues. The following interventions are currently being pursued by the ministry. A, meetings are being organized to engage with the implementing agencies to evaluate actions taken to implement the audit recommendations in the audit report. So they are holding meetings right now with the agencies to implement the audit report recommendations. And then B, Preparations of an emergency expenditure management guideline, and this guideline will provide government with administrative protocols in times of emergency, because as we were uh, dealing with this COVID pandemic, we didn't have emergency guidelines on how to spend. Give me your reaction to these two key action points. The finance ministry says they are pursuing on the back of the revelations in the Auditor General's report. Thank you very much, Givans. And let me say that uh, these two actions are good, uh, that uh, the government itself is trying to remedy some of the infractions that have been cited uh, in the audit report. But the question I would like to ask the Minister of Finance is that when the audit was carried out, were there no audit observations on the field? Were the attention not drawn to these issues? When the audit was completed, did the Auditor General not issue a management letter to them, mm. telling them about all these things? Is it when the public started, uh, the, when there is public, public outcry, now that they are telling us that they are meeting these institutions? So it tells you the seriousness with which the Ministry of Finance and the government take the audit report. From my point of view, these issues should have been resolved, will resolved by now, because on the fifth, the Audit, uh, the auditors raise observations. So that brings the infractions to the notice of the Ministry of Finance. That is if they claim they are not aware. So from that time, this issue should have been resolved. Not, it's not today that they will not tell us that they are setting up a committee and meeting with other people, uh, other ministries to see the status of implementation. I don't think you will handle your finances like that. Listening to you, I, 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 I get sad. Especially when you borrow money from people saying that I don't have money to, uh, to uh, take care of a pandemic. Mm. And then you use the money to pay SNIT, use some to pay NACO, etc. Are those all part of the pandemic? So you see the government itself is at the forefront of misbehavior or uh, breaching laws and not respecting the financial rules. So are you surprised that we have this level of embezzlement and uh, uh, what do you call it, infractions in the Auditor General's report, when even the Ministry of Finance and the government, who should be at the forefront and ensuring that the financial rules are complied with, are misbehaving, for lack of better words, what will others do? So it is a welcoming uh, uh, attempt that they are putting in place, but to me, it's a bit late. Yeah. And they should take audit reports a bit more seriously. And, and Donald Domelevo, you, 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 you make that point, and I notice that in the report, each of the infractions and irregularities, the auditors sought to get the re responses from those uh, who had been mentioned. And in many of the cases, responses were given, right? Um, and so your, your point is that when those issues were flagged, with the finance ministry and its agencies, what did they do about it at that time? Is that, that's the point you're making. Exactly. And you notice from the Auditor General's point of view, they were only giving explanations, but they were not solving the problems. I'm sure because of the public outcry, now that they are thinking of solving the problems. 
Yeah, I mean, so where we stand now, and I, I, I theme this in search of consequence. Often, when, even when you were there, we have all these jaw-dropping um, revelations in order to general support. This is one of them. This is the latest of them. What should happen now? Well, I think a lot of things can happen, and I'm expecting them to happen. First and foremost, I expect the Auditor General to comply with Article 1A7 plus 7B, which requires him that any time he comes across expenditures that are contrary to law, he should disallow and search out. So I expect the Auditor General to do that. Two, the report goes to Parliament, and I expect that the Parliament should not delay on the report. They should refer it quickly to the Public Accounts Committee, and the Public Accounts Committee should call the various audited institutions to, to book to ensure that the right thing is done. I also think that the issues that border on criminality, the Auditor General should leave this with the Office of the Special Prosecutor so that we can take those people on immediately. It beats my mind in a country whereby when we meet petty thieves, people who steal bananas, they steal coach, as a terror, we sentence them to several years. And if we meet public officers who steal money belonging to all of us, as a result of which our systems are not working, hospitals are not functioning, schools are not good, our roads are bad, well, all that we do is just to report it in the audit report. At best, we may collect the money and they are free. So I think there must be consequences. And the Attorney General may also like to step in here to help prosecute some of these people if his office has the space to do this.